Obviously not the result you wanted in your Folsom finale, but and what were some of the emotions you were going through, kind of, you know, getting out there, you know, especially going through the injury last year and you know, all the ups and downs last few years. So how did it feel this kind of last game out there, the emotions? You know, it was it was it was a lot of fun just being out there with my teammates. Um, that's just what I'm going to miss the most at Folsom is just being out there with with my guys and um, some of the things I'll take away from tonight, not related to football, is just I, this weekend I got to meet uh, the guy I donated and donated to and that's just really awesome and he got to be here and that's just so cool to me and another thing is one of our teammates Trent Headley got engaged today that was just really cool real high emotional yeah. uh, for both of those so that was really sweet I wanted to ask you about you know meeting the, the person you, you donated to I mean just what are some of those emotions I can't imagine the, the feeling of fulfillment it is to be part of something like that yeah it's, it's just wild you know um, you don't really know how you're gonna feel in that kind of situation but it's almost like you just kind of like uh, are seeing someone that you, you uh, know so well and I hadn't met him before and I don't know just kind of a connection there and which is really cool. Football wise, um, putting up a fight in this one. You, know, you guys were down four touchdowns and obviously made a game of it. Not the result you wanted, but but is there something you can take? Is there any momentum there you take into the bye week and as you start preparing for Utah as opposed to you know if it had kept going the way it was? Uh, you know I think uh, defensively especially that uh, we took big steps this week, um, got a lot better. And uh, we just learned a lot about ourselves in terms of uh, what, what we're about. And, you know, there was a time there in the fourth quarter where we got two stops, two big stops in a row, and we gave ourselves, gave ourselves a chance to win. So that, that was big. And, uh, you know, obviously we got to fix some things from the first half, but in the second half I thought we played, we played uh, hard, and that's, that's what we needed to do. You also started real well uh, on top of those late stops you, you talked about. I mean, do you feel like this was a, a good turnaround to, compared to what we saw obviously last week in, in the fourth quarter at uh, Arizona State? I mean, it's definitely better. I wouldn't call it good, you know, didn't win, but uh, uh, it's definitely better for sure. You guys held tight in the first half. Um, what was some? What was the plan going in to stop USC's balanced attack? You know, we were just trying to be physical and uh, you know just play our game. So it, just, it was working for a while there. What do you guys need to do over the next two weeks to prepare for Utah? Uh, you know, we just got to come together and we got to look at the film and see see what we can get better at specifically. So. How important is it to have that bye week going into uh, this last I think week? it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good for our guys to get a, a week of recovery and you know feeling good going into the last game. If you had a preference, would you prefer the bye earlier in the year? Does it matter to you? Uh, probably would prefer the bye early in the year, but um, you know it's not something that matters too much to me. Yeah, I mean that said, having an extra week to prepare for oops, sorry to prefer prepare for what's basically a, a win or go home situation, how beneficial can that be for the team? That can be very beneficial for us. So you know we just got to take care of business. Thanks, Derek. Thanks, sir.